Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm currently in my pyjamas with no makeup on so you will not be seeing me in this video but um, I wanted to do my nursery tour for my little boy. He is now five months, no six months nearly now, in a few days um, and he will be moving into this room very shortly. He was two months early which is why he's not in there yet. Um, and he's only just started sleeping through the night and having kind of waking once in the night uh, sometimes so I feel like he's ready. Um, so yeah, let me take you on a little tour. So this is his room. I'm shut the door after me so you can't see the mess behind me. So we've gone for this stripy wallpaper. Let me step back so you can see it a bit better. Um, it's on every wall, well these two walls basically and then the wall behind me is all wardrobes and then this wall is the um, window so we decided not to do that. Uh, we've got this silver cross furniture which I'm so happy with actually because it's got this plastic bit at the top which is so good for um because Margot's got, got teeth marks and it's like ruined so this kind of protects the wood um and her cot is like a princess bed and I just feel like this is like way more classic um for a little boy it's like perfect um a girl too but yeah we just didn't want him to have a princess bed and then this um little chest of drawers but with a changing bit on top which is really handy for changing um, and then we've just added these balloons. These balloons are actually in Margot's um, bedroom nursery in the old house uh, but we made it a bit more grown up this house so um, we've got rid of those and then we've added these little shells which are so cute. That mirror actually was a PR gift from H&M with some makeup but I just think it looks perfect in here um, I've been holding on to it for ages because I didn't want to get rid of it and now I've found the perfect spot uh, and then a little jelly cat rattle and some Peter Rabbit books then this little rabbit, um, teddy bear here is adorable that's from LED details they do some beautiful stuff a uh, little Peepo book that was Margot's favourite I love that book so much and Fearless Octopus that was a gift haven't read that one yet the curtains are from John Lewis and we got this I believe this curtain pole is just from a random curtain pole place but I will find it because it was quite hard to find a pine one because we didn't want a white plastic one and we didn't want a black one which is what we've got most other places so we wanted like a pine one um, and then these curtains are from John Lewis I've just said that they're a bit too short um, whilst I was away my family threw away all the packaging without measuring them so here we are um, but we've got hooks um, circles for the top so my mum's going to add circles to the top and length on the bottom so we should be all good there um, and then we've got this beautiful rug from Zara Home I'm obsessed with it I love Zara Home for kids they do like a Zara Home kids section and it's just gorgeous and I actually love the two prints together I just think they look great and one thing I wanted was for his room to be really fun um, I didn't want it to be too baby because we did that with Margot's room and then obviously as they get older it's just a bit boring so I wanted this room to kind of not be boring when he got older um, and then this chair was actually in our bedroom in the old house um, but it makes a perfect nursery chair uh, for sitting in and feeding him and then we've got this little I think this might be jelly cat, I'm not sure, little octopus, which is so cute. Um, this is from a brand called Spoiltland, a company called Spoiltland. They do loads of lovely things. And then a little bee cushion, that's from Zara. Then we move on to the cot. Obviously, I've just shown you guys. I've got it on the full length, uh, um, fully extended at the bottom of the net at the moment, but I will move it up soon. Um, and then we've got some little teddy bears in here. Um, and this gorgeous bedding from Amarel. I just love all the prints together. I just think they look so lovely. This is such a lovely one. I haven't ironed it. Whoops. Um, but they do the most beautiful bedding. Amarel. We've got some linen bedding from them. Margot's bed sheets are from them. Can't recommend enough. And I just love the prints for kids. They come in a two pack of a printed one and a plain one. Then this is a blanket that my mum knitted. She does actually do knitting as well. Um, like she takes on requests. Um, so I will link her page if anyone's after some beautiful hand knitted pieces um, also she does really cute cardigans too I'll just link her page and you can go and have a look but if you ever see Barney and Margot in knitted cardigans they're made by her and then we have this beautiful gallery wall I'm just going to stand here so the light doesn't ruin it um, I have got some more prints on the way too I'm going to keep adding to it so the raw and the B um, print are both from the same person I want to say it's Jasmine something, but I'm not 100% sure, so I will link below. Then we've got that let your, let your light shine bright little rainbow print. And then this is from Etsy, the Barnaby one, and you can get it 
with obviously anything written in there and you can get it in all different colours um, or you can get a white background, you can get anything and then this one here, I can't remember where that's from but I do know, <laughs> so I'll link it and I wanted to get like different coloured frames and things to kind of add to the fun effect and then the light is just from Ikea same light that Margot's got, we just really liked it so we were like, do you know what, let's just get that one rather than deliberating um, and then we just painted these white, they were grey before um, and I just added these, these are literally like £2 for two or something ridiculous from Ikea. Just some really simple handles because I just wanted them to blend in. Did think about getting some like fun kids ones but no, I just quite like them completely plain. And that is Barnaby's bedroom that he'll be moving into soon. Grown up boy with his own bedroom. It's hard to believe that he's six months old already. We love this room and I hope you do too. Hope it'll give you some inspiration. I found it really hard to find inspiration for little boys bedrooms. Um, when I was looking because I just felt like they were all so like baby or really dark and dinosaurs so I wanted it to be quite like not that <laughs> so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back with another fashion video next week